This is a little bit of a preview of this Pivot Interactive's Coffee Filter Lab. I've tried to modify this to help make it more useful for you and not waste your time by having a lot of people collect the same data. So it's here in Newton's Laws of Motion. Um, and here is what it will look like. You go to this pivot part, go in here, you got to log in. Um, there is a spreadsheet here, by the way. So this is what it should look like. Give some information. There's a video. And I'm assigning you to collect about data about one coffee filter stack, either one with one filter, two, three, four, five, or six coffee filters. So the video looks something like that. If you recall, there's a bunch of tools you can use. These are to show positions. They're in centimeters. Stopwatch, remember, you can restart it at any point in time. You can use arrows to move frame by frame if you'd like, and again, reset it. So you're only going to be responsible for one of these. Okay. Um, you're going to plot data down here. And you should be able to make a graph with this data that you collect. And again, make sure you get enough data here. You can create new columns or new rows as well. When you make a graph here, you probably want to scale it from zero. You're also probably at some point are going to need to include extra um, <clears throat> data. Uh, actually, that's going to be in the second part of the video. So anyhow, your data is going to be here. And then there's some questions on this. You need to um, determine what your terminal velocity is, where the coffee filter or coffee filter stack is when it reaches terminal velocity, and how much time has passed since release at that point. So those are things you're going to enter into this spreadsheet, which is right here. Other people are going to use that because the second part of the lab is something going to be important for them to have all the data for because we're going to be comparing the mass and the terminal velocities and coming up with a mathematical relationship for that. So that's down here. And again, at this point, you need to get data from your classmates. If you don't have that, you're going to have to collect data for all six coffee filter sets. Um, and again, here, I think you're going to be entering mass and terminal velocity or force and terminal velocity or something like that. But then you're also going to have to do some mathematical comparisons. So you can create a new calculated col and column to the right and then go to change the column formula, column settings, and so forth. And then that's going to ask you to come up with the correct mathematical relationship for terminal velocity um, along with uh, basically the, the mass of the coffee filters, the force acting on the coffee filters. So hopefully that makes sense. It's a quick preview.